Here we're trying to calculate marginal revenue and marginal cost. So marginal means additional. So we have uh, the additional change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Now the change in quantity on this one is always going to be 50. So change in quantity equals 50. So we're going to just divide by 50. So we're going, uh, we don't have anything here and here. Um, 0 to 250 is 250 divided by 50, which is really just 25 divided by 5. That is 5. Uh, next one, 250 to 500 is also 250. And if you notice, it's 250 all the way down. So 250 divided by 50 is always 5. This is a perfectly competitive firm selling all of their products at $5 uh, here. Next, uh, marginal cost. This is the change in total cost divided by 50 because that's the change in quantity. So this here would be 100. It's 100 over 50, which is 2. This is 90 over 50, which is 1.8. This is 120 over 50, 2.4. I'll just fill in the rest of these as I already did the calculation, 7.6. Okay, so now we have the marginal cost and the marginal um, marginal revenue. Anytime that marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, you want to produce that product or that, that quantity. So 5 is greater than 2, so I want to produce uh, that one. Let's put a check mark there. Uh, then 5 is greater than 1.8, 5 is greater than 2.4, 5 is greater than 4, and then I want to stop here. Okay. So the answer is I would produce 200 units if I was profit maximizing and charge a price of 4 and my profit would be the difference between 1000 and 810 which is 190.